Right here on the deck of the USS Midway, more than 3,000 people found freedom, hope, and a brand new life. And the San Diegan, who was air boss at the time, who controlled it all from that tower right there, says what happened here was truly a miracle. To me, it is. It is a miracle because it was the most dangerous 30 hours I'd ever seen on an aircraft carrier. Memories of Operation Frequent Wind. The chaos, the complications involved were just tremendous. Are crystal clear for 88-year-old Vernon Jumper. I was so frightened that one of these helicopters that were so low on fuel may flame out and crash on this flight deck. A full-scale emergency evacuation had been ordered. 45 years after the evacuation of Americans and at-risk Vietnamese from Saigon, the retired Navy commander shares his story as a volunteer on the same ship. And people appreciate the story so much. Vern was the air boss of the USS Midway, and from this seat, he called all the shots. <laughs> yeah. Right there, the title, the boss. It was in this tower in April 1975 where Vern watched over the intense 30-hour operation with laser-like focus responsible for every takeoff and landing. What did you see when you looked out from this perch right oh, here? Oh, when I looked out, the flight deck was covered with people and helicopters, of course. At one time, helicopters came up and they were hovering alongside the ship and they had less than five minutes of fuel remaining. You're almost eye to eye with them right almost here. Almost eye to eye. At one point, he counted more than 20 South Vietnamese aircraft waiting to land on the crowded flight deck. Some pilots hovered just long enough to unload their passengers, then headed to the side of the ship where they jumped out wearing life vests as their helicopters went down. All of a sudden, I saw this little O-1 bird dog. The pilot dropped a note on the flight deck asking if he could land on the runway, adding that his wife and five children were on board. I immediately ran this note up to Captain Larry Chambers, our commanding officer at the time. The decision was made to push more than $10 million worth of helicopters over the side of the aircraft carrier to make room. He made a beautiful carrier landing without a tail hook. The flight deck crew surrounded the family and cheered and they were just hooping and hollering. They were so proud that they'd saved their lives. They're my heroes. They're always going to be my heroes. Courtney Herman was only eight years old when she and her family of 12 stepped onto the Midway, along with her aunt and cousins. They saved us. They saved thousands of, of people, people now that have better lives. She remembers sleeping on the flight deck because the space below was full, knowing they were finally safe. What does this flight deck mean to you? Freedom. But she knows not everyone was able to leave. My uncle that stayed back, he was tortured many years because of his military status. Courtney has deep gratitude for the U.S. involvement in the unpopular war. If they weren't involved in the war, I wouldn't be sitting here on this deck today. I knew Don Brown, Bud Lynn. Vern says he will never forget his fellow pilots and air crewmen who paid the ultimate sacrifice and died in the war. It's so sad to see their names on the board. But he takes comfort in the success of the humanitarian mission he helped lead on the USS Midway. It's the proudest moment of my life that we saved 3,073 souls and nobody lost their lives. The USS Midway Museum is such a treasure to have here in San Diego. It is open to the public in a limited capacity, and if you're lucky, you just might catch Vern Jumper out here on a Monday or Friday sharing his incredible first-hand account of history. On the Midway, Marcella Lee, News 8. Boy, that story gives me absolute chills, and it was beautifully told by Marcella also because of her father's involvement in the military, including um, Vietnam. Absolutely gorgeous. And, and Vern, you He's are a such a hero to us. Wow. I'd love to sit down and buy him a coffee and just listen to him talk. That's the tip of the iceberg, yeah. I think. We could, yeah. Just that could, so much he, humanity he could be a and so heroic, There's too. There's so much to that story yeah, that people is. need to know all the details about it. It's remarkable all yeah. these years later to hear. Yeah, and our News 8 family also wants to wish Vern's wife, Rebecca, happy birthday. She turned <laughs> 95 years old yesterday. Get this, she and Vern met on Coronado and they've now been married for 63 years. The story keeps getting better. I know. <laughs> Thanks for sharing wow, that with us, Wow, another chapter.